When you said tell a story about CJP yeah. and link it to Yeah, it might be thing. a story of your experience yeah. well, at so work So there's one CJP. that happened 15 feet from us here. Okay. When we first started doing the summer institutes, it was about the second or third year. We had a, a range of people that started to come from Africa and Latin America and Asia. And it was, I had always heard about, but I had never met Sam Doe, who was one of our early graduates of this program from Liberia. And Sam and I met at a table right here, sitting down, and we, it was, he was joking a lot because they, they always kidded me, Sam and all the people that came in, that they were expecting somebody with a lot of gray hair and to be much older. Now they can see that it's finally all come. But Sam um, was a person who became very dear to our family. Our, my, my kids absolutely loved him, especially Angie, who's just enough older that she could listen around our dinner table and other places to stories that he would tell about Liberia, things that he was doing. In fact, she says that her interest in going to West Africa to work with child soldiers came from dinner table stories with Sam. And I remember that one time Sam and I were sitting. Sam never was the kind of person who trumpeted his um, you know, good works and things that he did. He was always very quiet. So to be in unexpected moments that something would come out that you didn't, uh, you weren't, you know, um, you didn't know about it, part of him that emerged. And so he told me one time about the event that had really pushed him into peace building. And that was that he, for quite a while, had been working with the Christian Health Association of Liberia. And they were working with a range of people traumatized by the war. And so he was in more of a trauma-related unit. And his area of focus was on younger boys, especially children, teenagers, and there was one former soldier who had a lot of problems coming out of, the, out of the war period that he had been in, and his name, if I remember correctly, was Corte, and Corte uh, had what you would call um, audio or oral, oral um, hallucinations. He would hear voices, he would hear things that came back from the war period. And he had a tendency to be, have bursts of not knowing what to do with all of that. A lot of those tended to be self-destructive. But he, they were afraid that he might do something significant to himself. Sam tells a story that he committed himself to work with this guy and had been making what he felt was some interesting, you know, good relationship and growth. But then he left for a conference for three or four days. And when he came back, he came back to a very hard reality, which was that Corte, the day before, had gone out to the ocean, called by a voice in the sea, and had drowned himself. And Sam said how he, he in that afternoon and evening, he had sort of waves of anger. His first wave was, he was angry at his colleagues. Why did they let this happen when he was gone? And then he got angry at himself. Why did he leave? And then he got angry at God. Why would God even let a kid be born into this world and have this happen? And then he went out to the uh, ocean where Corte had drowned just a day or two earlier. And he said, all I did was I started to wade in the water and to sing. And I sang until I didn't have anything left in me. And when I came out of that, I said, I'm going to spend the rest of my life making sure that no more African children carry guns. And that's when he started his real push to get a degree in Peace Corps. And that story I wrote up at one point in the journey toward reconciliation. But it's come back to me often when we've been working with this idea of poetry and song and sort of the sonic, oral, um, sound-based challenges that happen and that are also resources and how in the case of this young boy, he heard things that called him that way, but in the case of Sam, he somehow found a way to feel the water and to sing the songs that brought him back to a sense of direction. So there's a story for you. That's cute.